I'm Dick. And I'm Hope. Today we're going to plant some flowers. We are planting the very first flowers of the year in our flower farm. Yes, we're planting snapdragons. Two varieties of snapdragons. We have the Madam Butterfly and the American Seed version that we got from Dollar Tree. That's right. And um, we have prepared our row a little bit by tilling it, adding peat moss, adding vermiculite, and uh, compost. And compost. However, we still think the soil's not great, so we've got a. We're, we don't have a recipe, but we are making a recipe of stuff to add to the soil. Here we have your average run-of-the-mill garden soil. We're gonna add in some vermiculite, and we also have Earth Science earthworm castings. Thank you, Earth Science. They were kind enough to send us a couple bags of some castings to try out. Yeah, this is kind of a big deal to us. Yeah. It's the first company to send us something. Thank you, Earth Science. Thanks, Earth Science. And we're excited about earthworm castings in general. Uh, We've been wanting to try it a long time. She loves worm poop. I love it. All right, so let's add the vermiculite yeah. to our soil. Why don't you tell me when? Okay, maybe. So it looks like we've got- I think that's enough. A little more. A little more, okay. Yeah, okay, so it's like, right now it's like- Just a- Six parts garden soil, one part vermiculite. Okay. And now- Maybe castings. a half part. Yeah. I keep calling them castings, and you <laughs> have to keep on refilming parts where I say castings. <laughs> oh, castings, all right, so. Tell me when. We don't want that much, do we? Maybe half a bag. A bag? Ooh, look at you. <laughs> Big spender. Oh, that looks good. I don't want to waste them. They're precious. I just want to show this to the camera. Look how dark and rich this is. I'll touch the worm poop. I'm so. hoping there's some cocoons in there. Oh, yeah. So if there's cocoons, we'll have worms and it'll improve our soil. So I don't know if you can see. Can you tell if, that, if this is showing on the camera? Oh, sure. Let me go look. I don't know if you can see, but this is the mix. Yeah, it's showing. Pre-mix. I'll zoom in. This is the mix. It's going to be nice and rich. We will drill our holes with the auger and then drop some of this down into each one. Okay, guys, it's another day because life happened and continues to happen. And so Dick is out doing some dad stuff. So it's just you and me. So here's where we're going to plant the snapdragons. This row is about five feet wide by 22-ish feet long. Apparently measuring is not my strong point, neither is math nor planning. Um, let me show you the snapdragons. Okay, so like we mentioned, we have two varieties that are going out here. Madame Butterfly and I'll show you the other one from American Seeds. We talked about that in another video or will, it will come out, um, which is just a generic variety. So we have about the same of each. I think that we can get about one and a half rows out of each variety. The rows are roughly five and a half feet wide and about 22-ish feet long. And we're going to be placing the snapdragons every six inches down the row and then a foot apart the rows are a foot apart. So that'll give us about five rows. We've only got enough for three today, which was planned so that we can succession plant. Although I'm not certain that snapdragons need to be succession planted, we will learn. And as promised, I'm also showing you the American seed variety. The, these are what come from Dollar Tree and we will be sure to update you on how well they're doing or not. Both of these snapdragons have been hardening off for over a week, starting off an hour at a time outside on the front porch to two hours, three hours. At the end, they were spending six to eight hours a day out there. So they've had time to adjust to the cold. What they haven't had is a lot of direct sun, but they did get that yesterday and they spent the night outside last night. So I don't think there's anything else I need to tell you. Uh, let's get going. So excited. I'm so excited. You have no idea. And 48. Oh, this is 
so exciting. You have no idea, if you've never done it before, you have no idea how exciting it is to plant something in the ground that you've started from seed in your house. It is so, so exciting to have watched these babies in the house, to doubt that they'll come up, to baby them, to pinch them, and then put them in the ground. It's just very, very exciting. really exciting to see all of this green out here in the garden. In a way it seems like the garden was here just yesterday and in another way it seems like it's been so long. But at any rate it's a very welcome sight to see all of this green. So I have the first row in and here's what I learned in the first row. Number one, don't have your dog out here if he likes to dig because he will start trying to dig up the flowers you're planting. And number two, use a smaller bucket for your amendments because it's easier to carry them down the row. Other than that, I think things are going well. Perhaps foolishly, but I think things are going well. So I'm ready to set up my line and do the second row. inches is so close together when you're actually out in a row so when you're seeing the planting directions and you're thinking wow that's way too far apart for whatever think about that you're planting in this big space and actually they look really close together to me Some of them have a little baby with them that I missed, or two, when I was thinning. So I will probably just plant these out in the perimeter somewhere. You like it? I like it. How big do these get? The Madame Butterfly ones can get tall, but I don't know about this variety. We might get close to it. Yeah. How's the auger working out? Good. How's the soil mix we did? I think, I think we did just the right amount of soil mix. Nice. still need to put down the soaker hose oh. so if you want to unload the mulch yeah it needs to be done by tomorrow morning okay sounds good for this later, but we haven't done that yet, so we're just doing soaker hoses for now. Okay, this plug is for drip line, but I'm gonna see if I can use it on this. Okay, so that is not gonna work, so. We're going to go to plan B and just tan water tonight and figure it out later because it's starting to get dark. Mm -hmm. 
it is getting dark, so I wanted to go ahead and say goodbye and ask you guys to like the video if you liked it. Um, tell us something, say something if you have something to say in the comments. Say something if you don't have something to say in the comments. And please subscribe, we'd love it. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time, bye bye.